Hey guys, what's up? Cigar Buff here, coming at you with another gun review, or kind of a first look. This is new to me, it's used, I love it, I love it, I love it. If you want to stop the video now and whatever, then go ahead. This gun is awesome. By the title you can see that this is a Ruger GP100, blued version. Um, I traded, and some people might be disappointed what I traded for, but I traded my MMP9 for it. Um, the reason why, not anything wrong with that gun, that gun is awesome. It's my most popular video on this channel, that unboxing of that gun. But the reason why is um, I found when I went to the range, I was using my Glock 17 way more. Don't ask me why. They both feel good. They both have nice triggers, That certain trigger jobs and parts I change in both of them. As you guys know that, I did... I do trigger jobs on everything I shoot almost. I know a lot of people aren't game for that or don't see it. How don't really condone that I meant. Um, but I don't carry, not allowed to carry in Canada. So I do trigger jobs on all my guns, make them more enjoyable for me to shoot anyway. Um, and there's no difference with this Ruger GP100. <laughs> um, I'll show you that it is empty. There you go, there's nothing in the cylinder. Nothing in the bore there, in the chamber, so I'll close this up now. I've done a few things to it, but we'll get over some of the technicalities first. This weighs, I believe, 40 and a half ounces dry with no ammo in it. Um, it's totally stock form, except for, excuse me, oh yeah, that's good. I just had a Coke, and yeah, wow. Um, I'm not a huge pop drinker, so... That is, uh, it's fighting me now. But anyways, um, except for the things I'll tell you what I did for the trigger. But the rest is all stock, except for one thing. The only thing I dislike about the GP100, and I'll tell you, there's a lot of pros and only pretty much one or two cons. The big pro, uh, the big uh, con for me was, if you want to call, even call it that, because it's an easy fix, is the front sight comes totally blacked out. I'm not a huge fan of the white U. And then the black front. I'm just not, personally. So I got some of my model paint. And I painted that bad boy. Kind of like a high-vis green. And man, what a difference. Let's see if I can get you a sight picture here. There we go. It's like night and day for me. So I love it. Uh, target acquisition is a lot faster. Everything. So I just like it. Um, now that's the only con. The pros? Pfft, where do I start? Uh, amazing lockup. Sorry, I hit the camera. No play in the cylinder. Um, everything's just great. Forcing cone's great. This was used. Um, not much, but um, it still was used. It's just a great gun. Now, I fired the 686 plenty of times. First time firing the GP100 was mine. Um, this one right here. But the 686, don't get me wrong, awesome gun. Like, fantastic. It's a Smith. End of story. But, the one thing I've noticed, and a lot of people say this probably in all their videos and whatever, and I ha hadn't really noticed it until I held this in my hand with the 686 beside it, which is my buddy Lever Action Dirk, shout out to him, um, is this is a tank. Just the strap here, um, the full underlug construction, Just it's just a tank. It, everything is beefy, everything up here, it's just, the gun has a lot of meat to it. Um, one area I also notice is the cylinder um, with the extra space in between the actual cylinders. Tons of more meat there. Um, it's just, it's a tank. That's why everyone says if you want to fire a lot of 357 loads, like a lot, go Ruger. Only because, and this is true of not just their GP100, this is true of everything. Um, you know, their 44 mags, their, uh, well, prime example, look at their Red Hawk Alaskan. That thing is a tank. I wish it was legal here. I would so save up for one. Um, I love that thing. Absolutely love it. Uh, I have fired 357 and 38s out of this, and both are very controllable. Like, obviously, you're going to notice a little bit more kick in the 357, but, I mean, just, just a fun, fun gun to shoot. The whole grip, I love. A lot of people might not like the look, um, but I really like it. I always wanted for my first wheel gun a stainless gun. And, you know, this deal I couldn't really pass up. And the gentleman who traded me for it, really stand-up guy. And anyways, to make a long story short, I was like, eh, okay, I'll do it. Once I got it, though, I don't really... 
doesn't really super matter to me anymore because I mean it's just a great performer that the looks come second to me you know what I mean it's just this gun probably with I've only fired I think 50 or 60 rounds through it so far it performs really well if your trigger pull is good and everything is cool um, and you have that right squeeze wherever you point this thing it's gonna hit it's fantastic it does have the rear adjustable sight which is awesome but this thing came pretty much set right out of uh, the box when the gentleman sent it to me now as for the trigger job there's wolf springs in here and I polished the crap out of the internals um, out of the parts that were rubbing up against each other I'll show you one to be to for a prime example right there without opening the gun can you see that part there right there right at the top it is the camera's probably not doing it justice but it's polished to crap and the whole inside looks like that now so there's another shot of it right there um, this is double action and single action like I said guys it's empty okay because um, I am gonna dry fire this now double was really heavy smooth but really heavy stock now it is basically like I know you can't tell on camera but I mean it is so smooth now um, with polishing the internals and much lighter much much lighter like before I would really get this burnt you know one of those right when I was pulling it um, I would really really jerk the gun now don't have that problem anymore um, and secondly was the single action pull now is scary light I wouldn't say unsafe but I, would, I gotta get a trigger pull scale, uh, scale let's see oh it just feels so good like I mean I can't oh I can't describe it obviously there's no take up but there's usually no take up with any revolvers anyway but it's just the wolf spring made a difference so what I did is I changed the mainspring and the trigger spring in here I went with a wolf 10 pound in here um, and a wolf 8 pound in here which some people say is a little light I haven't experienced a primer igniting problem yet uh, we'll see if I do in the future but I mean anyways there'll be a few videos coming out of this there'll be um, which I already filmed I filmed the review afterwards because I was so anxious to get to the range I filmed my first time out with this so you'll see the target I'm not hiding anything I won't fool you and saying I shot better than I did no you'll see exactly what it is and how I did and then there's a second time I went out I've only brought this out twice and you'll see how much more my target improved with just the trigger job um, once again I know a lot of people are gonna say oh but you should always learn how to fire it with stock mm, okay whatever well it's not me so if you don't like it sorry but it's not me I always love to modify and tinker with everything guys who know me know that whether it be my car um, electronics especially uh, guns are no different so that's it that's a, my introduction and a little short review the Ruger GP100 would I recommend this gun 100 percent it is a tank guys sure it weighs more but it just it's a tank it's awesome uh, firing light 38 special loads is like firing a freaking I don't know 17 HMR like it's awesome so anyway guys that's my review of the GP100 thanks for watching and we'll see you later